set it. There we go. Come on, you devil. Give me a break. I know you want to open. There we go. Yes, finally. Oh, fellas, this is the newest lock from LearnLockPicking.com. This is what they call the 7-Pin Ultimate Adversary. So let me lock this back up, take a quick... Oh, no, let's not do that. Forget about it. Forget about it. Instead, we're going to get down to business. Let's take a look and see who won this H&H &H 30-piece lock picking kit. Uh, we had 24 hours. We collected, looks like, around almost 3,000 names. And on the third draw because I was looking for a secret word, and that was Staubsauger. Todd Groton, if you will PM your mailing address, hopefully it's not in Jakarta or Uzbekistan. Postage has been killing me lately, but uh, hopefully you're somewhere close. You will receive this. You wanted, to, you had a comment there, Staubsauger. Sounds like a German arms manufacturer. Well, a lot of you guys figured out Staubsauger is actually the German word for dust sucker or vacuum cleaner. And so that's why we had a little fun, have a little bit of fun there. And let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. The seven pin ultimate adversary. Obviously, you got seven pins, and you'll notice that we have little Allen screws in there, and here it comes with an Allen wrench. And so you can remove those and pin it up however you want. And I pinned all seven of these up. And it gave me just a, it was very adversarial, I'll grant you that. Um, one thing about this, the previous two models, the 5-pin practice lock and the 6-pin challenge lock, uh, they both had what are called the Sergeant L keyway, which is really wide open, very easy to access. So when LearnLockPicking.com created this, not only did they increase the number of pins from 6 to 7, but they also put on the SC1 keyway, which is a little bit harder to get into, a little bit more restrictive. You kind of have to work from the edge. But the beauty of this is that we can either tension from the top or we can tension from the bottom. So it's kind of a cool lock, lets you practice both tensioning techniques while learning how to pick in a restricted keyway. So really cool lock, I think it's a good idea. My own advice, even though the other two models I think are cheaper, the 5-pin model sells for $39.50. The 6-pin model is 5 bucks more, $44.50. This one, the 7-pin, is $5 more. It's $49.50. But you get the lock, you get the Allen wrench, you get a set of keys, but we don't need no stinking keys. And then you get this big collection of pins. And when I see a big collection, they say that there's a hundred in the bag. Uh, I think there's probably more than that. But more importantly that, when we're looking at a challenge lock, we're looking for high quality security pins and I hope the camera can focus but here's a couple of serrated just as an example sitting side by side that you'll notice we have one with two serrations and the other one looks like about four three or four serrations so and it's a little longer as well so these are going to give you distinctly different feedback when you pin this lock up um, same on spools there's a couple down here you notice these spools are different as well we got a wider belt on the top then we then we got thinner ones on that little spool there. So again, going to give you distinctly different feedback. Um, I put all the little plugs. You get nine or ten extra plugs in case you lose one. And then something that I didn't have on my I owned the six pin years ago, and they had one kind of spring. And I wrote them an email, and it looks like they've upped their game here too. We have three different springs. Uh, obviously designed to give you three different levels of resistance on the pin. So not only can you vary the different kind of pins when you repin this thing, you can put in different kind of springs to give you that variable feedback on the pins themselves. I'd recommend skipping buying the 5-pin and the 6-pin, just, uh, just buying one of these, just the 7-pin, for a couple reasons. One, you get a more restricted keyway, so you're going to learn how to work inside of that. You can use both top and bottom keyway tension inside of there, and then you can mix and match all of these. For you beginning pickers, this is a good learning lock, which is actually what it's designed for. When you learn to pick, you remove all the plugs except the first one. You pin it up, and then you learn how to pick it. Once you learn to pick the first one, you add a second pin, and a third pin, a fourth pin, and so on, until you're picking all seven pins. And then you can start doing the, learning the same thing with spools, the same way thing with serrated, and then you go to the mix and match and turn this into a true adversarial lock. You can practice raking, you can practice SPPing, or any other technique you can imagine can be done on the uh, SC1 keyway. So, 
avoid those first two, I'd go straight to this lock itself and just start learning on this one. Start learning that restricted keyway uh, right away. And that way you don't have that learning curve uh, to go through later. So anyway, fellas, if you think you'd like to win this lock, of course I'm going to have a random drawing for it. Uh, all you need to do is put the secret word into a comment within the next 24 hours, and then I'll let the computer pick a name. Hopefully it'll be the first name uh, that has the secret password. If you forget it, you're not going to get chosen, guys. Anyway, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.